Don't know AI? Know even less about FPGAs? Well, don't worry, because this week on DevKit Weekly, we're getting acquainted with the Hello FPGA Kit from Microchip. So you're still here. I thought some of you would have run for the hills after I said FPGA. Well, be glad you stuck around because the Hello FPGA Kit is an entry-level platform that's designed to take you from novice to knowledgeable using a couple of wicked cool AI demos. But first, Microchip has FPGAs? Yeah, that's right. A little while back now, Microchip acquired Microsemi, who developed the Smart Fusion line of SoC FPGAs that powered this kit. The Smart Fusion 2 FPGA SoC on the Hello Kit is a flash based FPGA device that packs in 12,000 logic elements, 21 18K LS RAM blocks, 22 1K micro S RAM blocks. 22 math blocks that can be cascaded for DSP functions, and two programmable logic libraries and clock conditioning circuits. Hard 667 megabit per second DDR2 and DDR3 controllers are implemented into the FPGA fabric, plus the logic elements support up to 16 transceiver lanes for PCIe Gen 2 and Zowie 10 gig ethernet, which are carried over 5G SERDES. But that's not all. The Smart Fusion 2 SoC integrates an ARM Cortex M3 that clocks in at 166 MHz and includes a memory protection unit and embedded trace macro cell to let developers reconstruct program execution during debug. The M3 is accompanied by a complete microcontroller subsystem, which provides instruction cache, embedded non-volatile memory, embedded SRAM, and CAN, triple speed ethernet, and USB connectivity as well. In addition to all of that, the Smart Fusion 2 FPGA SOCs, which you can see right here, are backed by a ton of security and reliability features. Not only do they feature single event upset tolerant embedded SRAM and DDR bridges, they enable on-demand data integrity checks of non-volatile memory and are hardened against differential power analysis. Finally, they also support secure boot of both the FPGA and the MCU using AES-256 and SHA-256 algorithms. And all of that comes in a device that consumes just 7 milliwatts of power in standby mode. Elsewhere on the FPGA processor board, users will find an additional 32-bit uh, PIC32MX MCU that can be used for management and control tasks. This Arduino-compatible interface, a couple of 20-pin expansion headers, FPGA JTAG and PIC kit headers, which come in handy for debugging and expansion as well, a USB 2.0 interface, and a smattering of push buttons and LEDs. Of course, the other parts of this kit that may have caught your eye are this LCD display board and this camera board that is the home of the LI0V7725 USB 2.0 camera from Leopard Imaging. This nifty little camera is based on the Omnivision OV7725 image sensor and an M12 lens which delivers super low light sensitivity while also enabling focus on objects just 60 centimeters away. The device supports MJPEG compression and is capable of HD 1280 by 720 resolutions at 12 frames per second. It also supports VGA video streaming. Users can manually adjust several settings on the camera, including brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, sharpness, white balance, gain, exposure, back, uh, backlight, and so on. But while all of this hardware is nice, the reality is that this FPGA AI starter kit comes down to software for you novices who are looking to get a leg up. With a kit in hand, users can download the Hello FPGA GUI application that includes an FPGA programmer, of course, as well as a power graph and several demos. The first demo you encounter when working with the kit targets running a DSP application in which you use the GUI to define input frequencies which are accepted by the FPGA and then output as waveforms in the Hello FPGA GUI program. This is essentially a fear filter. From there you advance to image single processing applications where video captured by the camera is sent through an ISP pipeline on the FPGA that compresses the data and then, trans, uh, and then transmits it to be displayed on the companion LCD on the other end. Again, within the demo program, users can adjust contrast, brightness, and RGB color uh, while the demo is running in real time, actually. A third and more complex demo is focused on AI. 
and this executes a convolutional neural network using the parallel processing power of the Smart Fusion 2 FPGA fabric. The demo helps users help the Hello FPGA platform recognize handwritten numbers in real time, which I'm sure is of interest to a bunch of you out there who are designing intelligent uh, vision applications at the edge. Other demos included with the Hello FPGA kit are an instant on showcase that highlights fast wake up times out of flash freeze mode, which is a mode that allows the device to enter and exit low power positions while maintaining their I.O. states. All of these demos and more info on the Hello FPGA kit are available on the microsemi.com site, which is still being integrated underneath the umbrella of Microchip. Now, with all that, I'll let you take a guess at what the cost of this is. You're wrong, it's way less than that. The Hello FPGA kit retails for just $168.75, which frankly is pretty amazing considering all that you get here. And I even forgot to mention that there's a USB 2.0A to Mini B cable included as well. Unfortunately, if you want to get your hands on this, your SOL as they say, at least for the time being. There are more than 500 of these already backordered and the factory lead time is roughly 17 weeks. Um, if you're a math whiz, that means you're getting close to the fall. But a few of you lucky winners have a chance to avoid all of that headache and even the nominal expense. We're raffling off three of these, and all you have to do is, to throw your hat in the ring is fill out the form that's linked to you on the screen and also in the description below. Before we say goodbye to this Hello FPGA edition of DevKit Weekly, a quick administrative note. Um, in order to give everybody a fair shake at each kit, we're going to extend the raffle period period out to four weeks. So you'll notice that when you get to the forum, multiple kits are listed. Um, so when you enter, just pick the one you're interested in and proceed. Anyway, that's all for this week's Dev Kit Weekly. Good luck in the raffle, and we'll see you next week.